That book must be really interesting. I've watched you read the same page five times now. Do you often stare at people reading? See, now you've answered one of the ten questions I had in my head for me. Are you a girl who is cynical and believes everyone has an agenda? Or do you ignore the usual faux pas I've just committed by approaching a complete stranger? Isn't that two questions? Technically, yes, but there's only one answer, so therefore it's only one question. So how did I answer one of your questions? By asking me if I usually stare at people reading. I therefore concluded that you are a cynical person and believe I have some sort of agenda. Well, from my experience, you often do. Me personally or strangers? Do you often get approached by strangers? Is that one of your 10 questions? So what is your experience then? What has happened for you to conclude that I, like perhaps several strangers before me, do in fact have an agenda? I see you've added stalker to your resume. What page number are you up to in that riveting novel? 76. Page 76. It was not often he found himself in this situation. He was always so careful. Diligent, in fact, as to not put himself or others in harm's way. How are you doing that? So, here he was, about to set out in what could only be called a kamikaze mission. Was this really the way he was going to die? It was as good as way as any, he supposed, as we all have to die someday. All right, stop it. How are you doing that? Check the author photo. <laughs> Bloody hell. It's you. Did you come over to get a review? No. I like the way your lips slightly move as you read. They do not. Ah, uh, yes, they do. But don't get defensive. I find it endearing. Endearing. <laughs> you really are a writer, aren't you? Well, judging from your lack of interest, not a very good one. No, that's not what I meant. I just meant it isn't a word one would use every day. And besides, the word endearing to me means the habit that at first you find adorable will be the source of arguments in 50 years' time when you scream at me for moving my lips when I read. 50 years, huh? Do you think we'll last that long? My writing might put you in a coma by then. Well, let's just say that I currently find your writing and your brush confidence endearing. And speaking of your writing, haven't these books sold something like 20 million copies? 23 million? Sorry, 23 million then? So what on earth are you doing in the park with us common folk? Don't you have chauffeurs or whatever? What, and miss out on stimulating conversations such as this? If I could ask a question, one that isn't one of the ten, what made you choose to read my book? And I say read loosely as you clearly find it a page turner. I actually found this copy on the way to work this morning. Sounds like another satisfied customer. Perhaps. Or well, they could have simply have done what I have in the past. Which is? Finish a book mid-trip and then leave as a gift for someone else. How kind. Any wonder there are so many starving authors out there. What do you mean? Well, with your little system, I just lost the sale of my book. Now he's being cynical. So, what do you do for work? Is this one of the... And no, it's not one of the ten questions. I'm a photographer. Oh yeah? What's your specialty? Lately I've been doing a lot of product shoots for catalogues, but... My real passion's people. Why so? I just love how every face is different. And every one of them has a different story to tell. Then when you get that perfect shot of them, it somehow tells a thousand stories. And you wonder why I people watch. There's nothing more inspiring or intriguing than watching someone look out the window of a train or get lost in thought on a park bench. When a person doesn't know they're being watched, their true self is revealed. I've sat here countless times creating stories from watching people just like you, wondering why someone randomly smiles when they're lost in thought or wondering what it is that makes you reread the same page five times. Well, what makes you think there was something on my mind? I may have just not enjoyed your book. I just noticed that your lips stop moving when you get lost in thought. 
It's okay if you don't want to discuss it. I've just found it so much easier to talk to a non-judgmental and random stranger. Non-judgmental? There's a rare breed. Where are you headed, by the way? Shit! I can't be late either. I'm headed to a shoot. Don't worry about it. Jeeves, uh, meet me at the park entrance. That was my driver. I have him follow me when I go on my people watching trips. I'll make sure you make your shoot on time. I find you very endearing, Wigdean. Ali Jacks. Ditto, Ali Jacks. Ditto.